So it's now 2019, and obviously when we look back in time to 1919, we think that the way they were living then was very backwards and very difficult, and we would hate to live a life like they were living in 1919, and we wouldn't want anything to do with it. But um, it's just so amazing that people in 1919 would have thought back to 1819 and thought pretty much the same thing, that the way they were living in 1819 was so awful and backward, and the way they were living in 1919 was so much better, and they were glad to be living there, living in that time. So I'm wondering, how will people think of how we live now? in 2119. So in the year 2119, they'll look back at how we live now and they'll think it's awful and difficult and they wouldn't want anything to do with it. And they'd be so glad to be living in the time they lived then. And they would hate to be living the way we live now. So I'm wondering what is so difficult about how we live now that people in a hundred years' time would think is so awful. But um, even if we can't see it or conceptualize it properly, it's definitely going to happen. I mean, in a hundred years' time, they will definitely look back on how we are now and see it as backward and underdeveloped and awkward and difficult. So I'm wondering in what ways it will be so different that they would think that way. I'm thinking it's bound to be medically and maybe food and maybe accommodation. Maybe there'll be some en new energy source as opposed to electricity or whatever. Um, it's so difficult and that's a flight of fancy to try and imagine how things would be so different. But um, it will definitely happen, and I find it amazing to think that the way we live now is actually backward and difficult, and the way we'll live in the future will be so much easier, so much more developed. But then I'm thinking there must be an end point of some point in some way, but I just don't know what the end point will be.